Hi guys, welcome to Storytime with Ms. Rachel. Today we are going to be reading The Rainbow Fish and we are also going to be reading Cowboy and Octopus. So let's get started with our first book. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just any ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, and sparkling silver scales among them. Ooh, they shine and sparkle. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. I think the rainbow fish might have been a tad bit mean. I don't know if that's working out for him too well. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anyone like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small, shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I won't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish scaled, shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away. Yet, he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. 
Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And they all have glittering scales. Can you see them glitter? The end. There he is with his one. Wow, he was really kind to give away his scales. Even though he really loved them, he shared. So we are going to get started on our craft for the week, which is our jellyfish. Now you should have received one of these in your bag. So the first thing you have to do is separate it because we need this sphere to be into two halves. So let's get started with that. So now that you have two halves, you need to go ahead and paint it. So I have chosen a bright yellow and a glittery purple. We'll see how this works. Um, and you can do whatever color you wish to do. Just remember it's a jellyfish. There's all sorts of colors. A few moments later. Alright, so now you've painted both halves of your jellyfish, and I'm going to use this one as our example. Um, this is my purple glitter. So now we're going to use our pipe cleaners to get our little tentacles. Anything round will do. I have a dowel rod, but if you want to use a pencil, a paintbrush handle, a fairly state straight stick from outside maybe um, we're gonna try to make these kind of curly cues so we are going to wrap these around we don't want to overlap them but we're wrapping them around Ooh, that one's getting a little loose and you kind of want to do it tight at first so we'll, we'll loosen them up later but you kind of want to get a tight curl Just around and round they go. Alrighty, now, so we're gonna slide this off and kind of straighten it out a bit. Just very gently straighten it out a bit. All right, now it kind of looks like that pasta that you can get that's a little loose curly cue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it into the bottom of the jellyfish. If you have a toothpick, that could also help because it'll create a little tiny hole. You don't want much of a hole because you want it to have a pretty firm grip. So there's our first leg. And you're going to do this until you've used all of your pipe cleaners. Um, well, divided by two because you have two jellyfish. So keep going until you have your legs. That one's popping back on me. There we go. Oh, that didn't slide off that easy. And straighten them out a little bit. You want that nice pasta curl. All right, let's get this guy in here. You what I'm gonna do. I don't have a toothpick, but I do have that little guy. That's gonna help create a little tiny hole for me to try to get him in snugger. Ah! He's starting to look like that. All right, now I'll let you finish your legs and then we're gonna show you how to put on the eyes. All right, so now you should have your glue out in front of you and your two eyes, you've got wiggly eyes. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of glue 
on here. There we go. Hold it down for a few seconds, try to make sure that it sticks. Oh. Well, that's a little tacky, but it'll dry here in a few minutes. Just try not to move it too much before it's dry. Here's my other eye going on. And, oh, he didn't, he didn't quite get there. But now I have a wiggly eye jellyfish. And I can put him somewhere and he can remind me of the sea. Who doesn't love the beach? All right, guys, I hope you had a lot of fun making that jellyfish with me and reading our stories today. I hope I'm going to see you next week on here. And have a great afternoon. Bye, guys.